Happy Wednesday. This is Mike here in the LabSide R&D Lab, and today I'm going to go over how to properly swap flasks on an active system. So, as you can see, I've got all my flasks kind of prepared for my valve system over here, um, and I'm collecting into my secondary collection right now. The liquid that's coming out is a high viscosity blue liquid you know, as a lot of people would call it, azoline. And in here, I've got a very low viscosity liquid, more watery. So I want to get a sample of this stuff so we could test it on our um, mass spec as well as our HPLC to see what's in there. So I'm going to do a little flash swap just so I can get an accurate sample of that. Not that I'd want to, you know, save this product by any means, but want to get a nice little flash swap done. So first thing I'm going to do is close off the valve and then slowly release vacuum here. As you can see, we're getting a buildup of the liquid above. There's no bubbles coming through. So that means I properly serviced this valve prior to the run, which is great. But something else I want to do here is I'm probably actually going to leave the Keck clip on. I'm going to grab my heat gun and heat gun this liquid that's below the valve so that it's not dripping out while I'm actually swapping the flask. So I'm going to start down at the flask, right at the neck. Beautiful. So now I've pretty much fully discharged what's in my stem here. I'm going to get my grease ready so that I have everything prepared. And then I'm going to pop this guy off again, my stainless steel cat clip. You know, if I blew the heat gun on a plastic cat clip like that, it would have most certainly melted. Wipe down the joint from grease. Put a little bit more grease on here so we're ready to go. Grab my new flask. Place it on and give it that nice rotation to spread the grease. Beautiful. Put my kick clip back on. Recap. So now I'm prepared to pull vacuum again. So now when I open this valve, I want to be very careful because if I do it too quickly, air is going to rush up and shoot this liquid up really quickly. So I want to do this super, super slowly. So you can see I did that so slowly. Now my air is being sucked out of the flask, so I'm pulling vacuum and I'm equalizing. Very slowly. So I, I, I have it just barely cracked right now. And having it just barely cracked has the air trickling in without shooting the liquid all the way up to the top here. That would be frustrating. Now that it's equalized, I can go ahead and open it all the way. And now I've fully changed my flask and I'm collecting the blue goo in here. So we went over earlier how to change a flask or how to rather add a flask to the system and change our secondary receiver. But now we're gonna look at how to change a flask that's relatively full on the system and we're collecting in real time. So we obviously want to be careful of spilling any of this precious product, one. Two, we're going to be collecting while we actually are swapping the flasks. So we got to be pretty quick about this. And obviously we don't want to make a big mess. We don't want to break anything. There's a lot of things to think about when changing a flask mid-run. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prepare everything I'm going to need. So I've got my flask here. And as you can see, this flask is a little messy and it's because I've already swapped it once. No reason to clean it if I'm still collecting main body. So I've got my flask, I've got my grease ready, which I'm gonna use to reseal the joint. I've got a piece of paper towel that I will use to wipe off the joint of any grease that's on there right now. And then I have a Kim wipe, just in case I wanna make sure that the joint's nice and clean prior to greasing. So the process here is gonna be as follows. First, I'm gonna close my valve, release vacuum, lower my jet lab jack, release the flask, wipe down the joint, and then I will re-grease, quickly put this fresh flask on here, kick clip, and then slowly release vacuum with the cap back on. So now that we've kind of go over the, gone over the steps, now we're gonna actually make this happen. So first thing I'm gonna do, again, is close the valve. And again, I am gonna do this relatively quickly because I don't want this little area to fill up too much. I don't want to lose too much main body. I want to make sure that I collect as much as I can here. 
you're going to make sure you want that you have some insulated gloves because that flask is very hot. So I don't want to burn myself. So I'm going to use these gloves to remove the flask when it's time. So now that I've got all my tools ready, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Grab my gloves here. Okay, we've got our material off. So now I can take the gloves off. And obviously while I'm doing this, I wanna be careful not to knock this very precious flask over. That would really suck. So I wanna be very careful with everything I do from here on out. Get my cap back on. Regrease. Flask back on. Spin the grease around, make sure I get that spread. And grab my Ket clip, which kind of fell back here before. And then slowly but surely release the vacuum to the flask. And there we go. Successful flask change. Thanks for watching.